Hi everyone, my name is Victor and I'm one of the authors of TechNeed. Today we're going to look at how to configure or tag VLAN in Linux. So, um, you know, you can actually um, tag a VLAN to a network interface or to a bonded or teamed interface. They are the same thing. I mean, you, you just need to follow the same process. But in this video, I'm just going to show you how to do that on a bond or a bonded interface rather. So I'm also going to be dropping the link to this website in the description section below where you can always see how to do this on a normal interface, which is the NIC interface, and also on a bonded or teamed interface. Like I said, they are the same process. It's the same concept. And there are some things that I might not say in this video that I can easily check in the documentation as well. So that's I'm, I'm going to employ you that if you have the time, I mean, it's not bad if you check the documentation. So not to waste too much of our time, let's see the step-by-step -step guide of how to do this. In one of our previous videos, we created Nick Teaming and Nick Bonding. And um, this is one of the servers that we use to create Nick Bonding. And that's why when I do IP here, you can see the bond that we created, which is bond one. And it is having this IP address. So what we're going to be doing is to tag the VLAN one-to-one -one on this bond interface. <laughs> like I said, it's the same method, it's the same concept. The same way you're going to be tagging um, a VLAN on a bonded or team interface is the same way you're going to also tag a VLAN on a normal NIC interface, which is not a bonded interface. So they follow the same process, all right? So to do this, um, I'm going to be using the network scripts or the CLI method. Like I said, you can always use the NMCLI, NMTUI, um, GUI method, whichever method that is suitable for you, you can always use them. And I'll also be dropping the link to this website in the description section below so you can check the, um, some of the other methods that we used. So I can just go to the configuration file, which is sysconfig, sysconfig, etc. sysconfig, network scripts. So to um, create, to tag a VLAN, um, you need to tag it to the interface that uh, will be carrying the VLAN. So for example, we're tagging it to this bond interface and I can easily create a configuration file for that VLAN. But if I want it to be easier for me, um, I can just copy, let's see what I even have in this, on this bond interface. So if I do bond one, Okay, this is what I have here. So I can just copy um, what I have here to make it easier for me. This is going to be bond one to bond one dot one to one. So this is the um, villain ID. So for example, if you're going to be um, tagging a villain ID of 32, this is going to be 32, but we're just using one to one here. So I'm going to copy this. So if I edit this interface, for example, IFCFG bond one dot one to one. So this is a um, type this time around. This is not going to be um, a bonded interface. So this is a VLAN. So I'm just going to delete this. I'm also going to delete this. I'm going to delete this, delete this, delete this. I don't need this. I'm going to delete this. So I can add device. Okay, I already have device here, so this is fine. Um, name, boot proto none, yes. IP address, fine. Prefix gateway, default route, yes, fine. Um, I can leave this and I, if I wish, but just to make the configuration file neat so that you can easily understand what I'm doing, I'm just going to delete this as well. Delete this, delete this, delete this, delete this delete this. So I have name, I have UUID. I'm going to delete this. And this is on boot, yes. So this is fine. And I'm going to say VLAN. Yes. So if you're using um, a real six system, you can do on parent because yes. But for red at seven and eight, it's not uh, really necessary. I'm just going to put it VLAN 
equals yes on parent equals yes so um, i can also say network so for the vlan network this is going to be 192.168.72.0 all right so if you have a dns you can include the dns and um yeah so this is fine Let's confirm again, boot proto, non, IP address, fine, net mask, fine, prefix, which is the prefix gateway and all of that. So this is okay. Only except for the device name, which is bond 1.121. And for the name as well. 1.121 so i can save this file so if i do cut ifcfg bond 1.121 so this is the configuration file so for bond 1 i need to remove the ip address from from bond 1 because we already have it sitting on um bond 1.121 which is the vlan so here type equals bond okay it's fine so yeah this is i can this is bond one i'm just going to remove the things i don't need here so proxy method i don't need this i don't need this i don't need this i don't need the ip address i don't need this i don't need this this is not the default route anymore. I'm going to delete all of these. UID. Yeah, if I wish, I can use it. And if I wish, I can um, not use it as well. So I want it to be on boot, which is yes, this is fine. Bonding option is fine. Yeah, of course, it's bond. Name bond one. Bonding master, yes. Yeah, so this is okay. So what I also need to do is to um, restart network manager. So if I do system CTR restart network manager on Red Hat 7, you should always restart the network service too as well. So this is fine. And now I can confirm that the bond, the, that the villain rather has been created. So you can see that I have bond 1.121 at bond 1. So what you should also do is you can see that. Let's see something here. Okay, this seems to be fine. This seems to be fine. If I do IP route, let's see. IP route. So. Okay. You can see that the default is this and this is going via. This should be going via bond 1. This is the gateway going via bond one to one, rather, yeah, bond one dot one to one, which is the VLAN. So this is okay. So let's see the IP here. This is okay. So uh, if you wish, you can also restart the interfaces. Like you can just see an MCLI connection down bond one. Name set connection up. Oops, bond one. Okay, so I can do NMCLI connection show. Let's see what we have here. So I can also restart this interface as well. Connection down bond one one to one. Connection up bond one dot one to one. So if I do IPA, all right, everything is still fine. Everything seems to be fine. So this is how you're going to tag um, a VLAN to a bonded or teamed interface. Like I said, if you want to do that to a normal interface, so this is what you're also going to be doing. It's the same thing as well, all right? And it's also the same thing um, if you want to do that to a teamed interface, if you don't want to um, tag a VLAN to a bond interface or a bonded interface rather. So thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Bye for now.